Big news tonight that likely will be a boost for Central Florida's tourism industry. As air travel picks up, county leaders say they're inching closer to completely removing the mask mandate. It's the last big step, and it wouldn't have any effect on visitors who still aren't totally comfortable ditching the mask. West News' Amanda Dukes joined us live outside of Orlando International Airport right now with some of the details. Amanda? Yeah, today's Orange County COVID briefing was held here at the airport and airport officials did talk about the increase in air travel they're seeing. But the biggest news is that Orange County appears to be on the cusp of moving to phase three, which would mean no mask mandate both indoors and outdoors. Now, Mayor Demings has said in the past phase three could begin when 70% of the population over 16 had received their first dose of vaccine and or Orange County's 14 day rolling positivity rate is 5% or lower. Now, Orange County's current positivity rate is 5.2% and health officials think in the next few weeks it will meet the threshold to move to phase three. Now, private business owners could still require masks. However, as far as the county is concerned in phase three, they would no longer be required indoors. It appears that we will hit the sustained 5% or below prior to us reaching the 70% uh, pinnacle. So it's a benchmark. It was guidance, guidelines that we were giving to our community. Uh, which is somewhat consistent with what we have now heard through the Centers for Disease Control. Now, on the travel side of things, the CEO of Orlando International Airport said last weekend, OIA saw some of its largest non-holiday crowds since the pandemic started. On Sunday, over 66,000 passengers departed OIA, and also for December through March, OIA was the busiest airport in the country. Now, as for what is coming this summer, uh, the airport said it does expect that uptick in domestic travel to continue. However, business travel has not quite come back and it could be much longer before international travel returns to pre-pandemic levels. Live at Orlando International Airport, Amanda Dukes, WESH 2 News.